children are born with an innate curiosity about the world around them and how it works. I'm a volcano scientist. I have two children. I have Sienna, who's just turned six, and I have Isabel, who's three and a half. I turned up to daycare one day and she'd drawn a picture of mummy, um, and it was me um, dodging some lava bombs from an erupting volcano. Um, she'd drawn me a lovely protective bubble so that I didn't have to uh, get hit by the lava bombs. But yeah, she always says, oh, when I grow up, mummy, I want to be like you. Me and my husband are both scientists. We just really enjoy, you know, doing activities that usually get messy, that involve some sort of experiment with the kids. They always ask, can I look at your rock collection, mum? Sienna seen some photographs of me doing an outreach activity. So we did it at home and to make it a bit more fun, they wanted to put animals on different sides of the volcanoes to see which ones were going to die from the, from the eruption. Hi, I'm an astrophysicist and I have a seven years old kid. His name is Luke. I have to confess that Luke has been learning about science and astronomy since he was just born. Some few hours after he was born and I have him for the first time holding him, I was telling him plenty of things about astronomy. <laughs> of course, he was just a baby. But when he was around two years old, two, two and a half, I was trying to introduce him to the planets and he loved the planets. Something that he learned very, very, very young was to distinguish all the different planets and to name them both in Spanish and in English. We usually do plenty of games in a whiteboard, from math to astronomy, biology and ecology and he loves doing all of that. He has also participated a couple of times in my science podcast. I hope he's taking all the advantage that he can of having a scientist uh, as a dad showing him uh, all these uh, things, I mean all the curiosities that I have always had. I'm very much connected to him. I think that sometimes he sees me much more like a friend that a dad and I have some issues with mom around that <laughs> because we are always playing together we are two kids playing together and I'm very happy about that when I was 11 I I had this dream of being a marine biologist and it, and it eventually came true so I have three kids Maya is 11 she's my eldest girl Orlando is eight and Nicolo is six they love science Maya went on her first field trip when she was just a few months old. We drove from Sydney all the way to the tip of Cape York, stopping along the way, basically doing fish fauna surveys. It was the middle of summer, so it was stinking hot. And um, my wife Lara was in the car for a lot of that time, just trying to stay cool with the child. Orlando was not all that keen, but once I started really focusing on sharks and rays, he suddenly decided that that was a cool thing. And so his favorite animals in the world now are sharks. When Maya was about five, she came out to Jarvis Bay on a tagging, a shark tagging trip with me and all of the crew. And she absolutely loved it. That was a fabulous experience. And she still talked about that to this day understanding and, and protecting the natural world. That's going to be really important. There's no alternative. We've got one world and we have to look after it.